Hello everyone! I'm here today with a new process video. I am working on a two-page layout, but the left side is a 4 by 6 insert. The right side is a 6 by 12 pocket page, as you can see here. And this is from our first full day in New York. Once we got off the subway, we came out right at Wall Street. So, as you can see in the picture, this is the American Stock Exchange building which is right across from Trinity Church. That's what we were actually there to view, but since we were right here on Wall Street, I just kind of pointed it out to my friends and said, hey, take a look at that before we go into Trinity. And then, once again, I like having my screenshots of my transportation, so I just took a shot of where we started from in Chelsea by our hotel to the financial district where we got out at our stop. So we took the one train, as you can see, and it worked out well because there were red flags up here on Wall Street. And then this happened to be in red. So that was perfect. And I'm hoping I can work in some red embellishments. For this photo over here, I do have a sticker that I want to use. I want to use this one. It's part of this sticker sheet here. And one thing I have noticed is the stickers are not sticking well. This one hardly had any adhesive on it, so I had to add some. And then this sticker, which I also want to use for here, it basically has nothing on the back. It wouldn't stay on the sheet. I doubt it's going to stick to anything, so I will have to either put some liquid glue or some glue dots on it or something to get it to stay. But for this one, since I'm trying to work in red, sorry, it's one of my cats, I'm trying to work in red, and since I have this over here, I want to use this right up here in the left hand corner. So right now I'm not exactly sure where I want to put this. So I think I need to pick out my card that's going to go here first because that may help me determine what I can do with what's left. So I'm going to go look at my New York specific pocket cards and then I'll be back. All right so I have picked out this one and originally I thought oh I just noticed there's something on the bottom there crud what is that this is from a digital set so I could reprint it but I may cheat and just put like washi on it or something it looks like I spilled on it or the ink went funny or something I'm not sure bummer well anyway I'm going to use it I like that it's got blue so it brings out the river here and the tint over here plus it's got just a little hint of yellow with that sun and there is some yellow right here so it helps bring in some of the color so I have that and then when I am looking at this, I'm kind of tempted maybe to put it like over here, showing that that's really close to where we got off the subway. Cause I don't know that it's really gonna go here. It'll just blend in here, there's too much green. Same over here and I already have something. So I think probably it'll go somewhere like that on the photo. Because I do have just a little bit of yellow, I want to bring in a little bit more. So I've pulled these two washies that I have. This one actually has a very subtle stripe in it. I'm not sure how well the camera will pick that up. And it's a little bit of a darker yellow. This one also has a very, very subtle stripe in it. But it's a wider stripe than this one. And it's also a little bit lighter in terms of the shade. So I'm going to try them both. I'm going to cover up that little spot down there and see what I think of it. So I decided to go with this roll of washi, and I love it. You can't even really see where I covered up there, plus it brings in some more yellow. So I am happy with that. Now I just have to figure out what to do with the rest of this. I think I need something here because it's kind of just blank and boring there. Maybe something yellow there too, just to bring that in. I'm not sure. I could maybe add a little yellow star or something here too to bring that in. I've got options, but I do like the idea of including more yellow. So I did find this little yellow, I think it's vellum, this little vellum star here, and I think I'm going to take it and just put a staple through it and put it right up here above the apple. All right, so I have that done. And then because I put a staple in there, I also decided to put one in here just so they kind of matched, it looked a little similar. So now I have to figure out maybe something here or along the edge even. Yeah, I don't want it to be too close to that. So maybe along the edge here and I wouldn't really be missing anything. 
if I put something on the edge. Or up here, this one I'm almost tempted to leave alone just because the way the picture is framed, it's pretty much good the way it is. So maybe it'll be over here. In my stash of travel stuff, I have a bunch of these. They are acrylic pieces that are geotags, planes, and then it says go see do. There are words in here. Oh, there's part of one. So I think I'm going to use this yellow geotag and put it right atop this pole here because it's fairly ugly. It doesn't really provide anything. And then it almost looks like the geotag is sitting on top of it. I could even move it up a little bit. Yeah, maybe more like that. Shoot, I just noticed this is right above it, which is also a geotag. Part of it's cut off, but it is one. Hmm. Should I move it way up in the upper left-hand corner then? I can't switch these cards because then this would be on top of that and I don't like that. It doesn't make sense to put it over there. No, it's just going to have to go in this upper left-hand corner because there isn't really a better spot. So I attached the geotag slightly left of here. I didn't want them exactly on top of each other, so I went slightly left, and I'm okay with that. And now I think this one is done. So here's a close-up of the four by six. Insert page on the left. And then here's the right-hand side. I didn't do anything with this photo. Did the middle row with a couple of fun things. And then bottom row, all I needed was that geotag, the acrylic one, and it's done. So here's another one completed for New York. Thanks for watching.